how you guys doing? This is William Myers from Manus Outdoors, and today I'm going to bring you a part one to a video that we shot previously. Um, unfortunately, my hard drive completely fried out in my laptop, so I lost the original part one to this video. So we're in Chris Tanner's backyard right now. Probably can hear the traffic on the side there. Quickly reshooting this video so we can just get this out to you and show you this product. And what I'm going to bring to you today is a flashlight. And if you look on my channel, I don't do very many flashlight reviews. I think I've done like one, maybe. Uh, I have probably one more, like a headlamp that I want to do, I want to show you guys. But I don't really like doing flashlight videos. I think they're kind of boring, you know, yada, yada, yada. But I want to show you this product because I enjoy it. I like it. And if you have the money, I encourage you guys to go buy it. And what it is, is an Olight S1 baton. And the other flashlight that I have on uh, my video, I believe is an Olight as well. Either that or it's like a, one of the little small through nights. Can't really remember. I believe it is an Olight. And that's kind of the reoccurring th theme with these videos is that they're really tiny, really small. And if I'm going to have a handheld torch like this, it's going to be small. I don't want the big, huge freaking flashlights. Some of them that Chris has that are like 71 million lumens you know chris always like to shine them in your eye like oh, gotcha you have partial retinal damage <laughs> just kidding me. Uh, he does that though you'll be in camp you just be like gotcha <laughs> anyway uh he's a good guy he just he drives me crazy with that these flashlights, like I said, they're very small, they're very handheld, and that way they could be on my body at all times, and I usually don't even know they're there until I need them. Um, other than that, I'm going to have a headlamp. A headlamp is always maybe one or two headlamps, you know, and batteries for those headlamps. You know, one in my haversack, one in my main pack, possibly, not always. Um, but if I do have a headlamp, there's going to be spare batteries for that headlamp, better believe it, or it's going to be able to charge via uh, external battery. I'll show you that soon. Got that coming up. Uh, but this is it impressed me. Um, all the stats and all that stuff that everybody wants to hear, um, they'll be in in here somewhere. I'm gonna put them on there because there's so much, so many features to this little light. You know, it goes from you know max setting. It only runs that for like 1.5 minutes, and it steps down to like save battery life and, and the life of the Creed LED itself. Um, it can run like that for like 90 minutes or something like that. Uh, I can just tell you, I don't care about what the manufacturer says. I can tell you my experience with it. Uh, on high, you got maybe three hours of continuous runtime. This is only a 123 battery, so you don't have you know a huge amount of battery life. You don't need it if you're going for you know three days in the woods. That's about it. You know, it's periodic use throughout those three or four days. And then this thing's gonna be dead. Um, the good thing is that you know you can just throw an extra 123 in your bag. No big deal, right? They're light, they're small. Like I said, you never even know there. You could even have that in your pocket all three days and never even know that was there. So as far as the modes go, I really like the modes because it's very simple. You know, some lights, if you turn it on and then you turn it off, you know, you turn it back on again, it goes to like medium. It has a standard setting. This, no matter what the setting is that you click off of it when you click back on it'll be at that setting again so let's go through the modes real quick in daylight that is oh, maybe not yep that's awfully bright this is moonlight and it's more than enough for going through uh like your haversack or your main pack in camp or just kind of getting from point a to point b in camp what have you maybe in the middle of the night obviously you might have to get up and uh, do something in the middle of the night um, this is more than plenty. Medium, more than plenty for, say, walking on a trail. Uh, if you were fishing or setting traps or maybe hunting, you stayed out too late, this is more than enough to get you back. And high is more than enough to flood out an animal, which I've done, uh, frogs and things like that. Technically, it's illegal to hunt that way, but in a survival situation or, you know, an emergency situation, there are no laws, in my opinion. It's me against the world at that point. So more than bright enough. Let's go to the table and show you some of the other features. Okay, so like I said, I really like this one because like I said, it's very small. And you know, if I don't have a headlamp, I wanna have some kind of a small light on my person at all times. Uh, but the real, one of the really good reasons why I like this is because this light has a magnetic base. and allows me to work hands-free just as if I was wearing a headlamp. So I could put my ax or maybe my knife or something like that in a stump 
just like that turn this on and attach it to my knife or my axe or what have you whatever I'm working with at the time and that just gives me light to like make uh, maybe I made it to camp a little bit late I need to do some feather sticks because it's damp outside you know get into the internal parts of a wood or you know maybe I need to make tent pegs again because I made it to camp a little bit too late etc 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 that's just allows me to work hands-free just like a headlamp the only thing about it is you're not gonna be able to travel like that like you would with a headlamp. A headlamp allows you to travel hands-free so you can get keep branches and stuff like that out of your eye and stabbing you and going through trails and stuff like that, what have you. But you know, as a light that I carry on my person at all time, being able to fix it somehow to where I'm working hands-free all the time. And I know other baton flashlights, you can put them somewhere, but you know, it's always cumbersome to do so. You know, it's always falling out over, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You get my point here. You know, this is very stable. It's not going to go anywhere unless I make it go there. And, you know, I thought that, that was a really cool feature of this light. So that's one reason why I wanted to bring this product to you guys. All right, so let's go out to our uh, 60 acre school property and show you what we did at night. All right, guys, so we're back for the second part of this video. And as you can see, it is very dark out here. We're in the middle of Laurelville on my school site, my buddy's uh, land. It allows me to do classes and things like that on. So now we're going to go through the modes of this light, and we're going to show you it hitting the woods and show you the, the, the hot spots and the flood and all that stuff. So, Andy, if you go ahead and hit that light. All right. All right, guys, so right now, if you just put it on, I think it's at medium right now. That's high that's low so that's the moonlight that is plenty for in camp you know digging things out of your bag and things like that that's medium and I'm just showing you guys this in the camera right now we're gonna actually turn and go through a little bit of a trail walk with it and that's high and you know, like I said this being just a simple one two three battery now small this is, I mean, that's a lot of light. Granted, like I said, it, it doesn't really last that long. But for, you know, a three-day camp, that's fine. Actually, we're pointed right at Andy's camp. There's Joe's camp on my tripod with his jacket on it. Can't really see his camp. But anyway, that's my shelter there. And, you know, it, without the light, with the light, that's on high. Go ahead and uh, look back at Andy's camp because that's not in front of a fire. So that's moonlight. Can't really tell the difference between the firelight and the moonlight. Very little. There's medium. See if we can't kind of get a look at the woods, maybe a little. Let's kick it to high. That's high. That's surprisingly bright. For a little one, two, three battery, yeah. That's as small as it is. That's yeah. a big lighter size flashlight. To yeah. be like that is ridiculous. Yeah, it's a very small flashlight. This is my camp here, my permanent shelter. All right, guys, this has been William Myers Mass Outdoors. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, there's some more of my previous videos that are playing in the screens to my left right now. There's also a subscribe button over there. If you haven't done so, I appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. To stay up to date with what I'm doing with my school and the YouTube channel, stay posted on the videos that are going to be uploaded, you can go to www.facebook.com forward slash Manus Outdoors or you can go to www.manusoutdoorsllc.com. Liking my videos helps me and my channel out a lot. I appreciate all your views, comments, and support, and hopefully we'll see you out in the woods.